If you're suffering from breakage and want stronger hair, you're not alone. There is one reason why your hair keeps breaking off. I'm here to tell you about why this is happening and how to avoid this. I am sick of your rules. <laughs> Snap out of it, girl. You better pull yourself together. All while talking about one product and one brand, which is creatine. What is creatine and why do people go on about it so much? If you're going to be using something like this, I think it's really important that you know what you're using. This isn't just for people using creatine though. This is going to be more about what damage is and what damage really isn't and whether this is just really another product that you should skip. Even for those who don't use heat or color their hair, this is going to be for you too. But for those who do and are using creatine, you might want to get comfortable before getting uncomfortable. Because trust me, there is a lot more to this than you think. In this video, we're going to get a little bit deeper and delve a little bit more into the science. Part two, I'm going to talk about some products from creatine that I feel like you should skip and I feel like you should actually get. Giving you some bonus tips as well. Personally, some of my favorite that I haven't heard anyone else talk about either. And it's going to be a little bit more surprising than you think. Hit that subscribe button and comment below and tell me what are some of your favorite products and what has worked for you. Let's jump right into the video and start right at the beginning. So K18 began with a new way of thinking. Hair can't truly be repaired by coating it. I think we all know that these days, but back then there was already this concept about how can we do this without just coating the hair. Now we already had some products out there that were bond builders, but that wasn't solving the issue at all. Because once the internal structure is broken, most products just like mask the damage. They looked at hair care and realized everything was just cosmetic, temporary and outdated. Meanwhile, skincare had evolved with peptides, retinols, exfoliants. So why hadn't hair? Where does breakage actually come from? And why does this keep happening? These simple but crucial questions are some of the most misunderstood and misguided. Because the truth is, it's not that easy to solve. So K18 found a way to mimic what the real keratin does. The way they did this was they decoded the entire map of keratin proteins that makes up your hair strands. This wasn't just what your hair looks like. They were studying how damage happens on a molecular level and how your hair used to hold itself together before the damage. They tested over 1,200 peptides, trying to find the one that could perfectly mimic what your hair really does on a molecular level when it's repaired, to repair keratin chains, the structural backbone of your hair. And what they found and designed was a tiny lab-made keratin code, a lab-designed sequence of amino acids officially called SH oligopeptide 78, what we know now as K18 peptide. This peptide is a little bit different in how it works compared to other products and ingredients out there. What it is designed to do is to slip into the inner part of your hair right at the core of it and stay there. So this is all about repairing from the inside out. I'm not gonna say that this was the first time that we heard about bonds and chains, but to really understand how we got there and how it actually works, no one really knew that. And if I could put it any way, it's kind of like very similar to when you're looking at DNA in general. And they were able to decode what the hair's DNA is really about, separating what repair wasn't and what it is. And they found a way to make that more permanent. And when you keep using creatine, your hair will get better and better every single time and stronger and stronger. Back when they first started, they were known as K-Hair Pet. Now, I don't know if anyone else remembers this, I sure do, but they all did consist of the one ingredient that we know of today, which is the creatine peptide. With claims like reversing damage within four minutes to near virgin state, connecting one of the most hardest to reach places within the hair, all without really needing conditioning. And a lot of people were really skeptical because it did sound like quite a lot of benefits with really no pushback at all. But hear me out here before you glaze your eyes over the word peptide this one is a bit different and i'll explain it in the simplest way possible your hair is made up of long protein chains mostly keratin and they're twist together like a rope 
When you bleach, dye, heat style, or just damage your hair on any level, those chains break apart. And most products coat the outside. They make it feel smoother, but underneath the damage is still there. It's biomimetic, which is what makes this really different. It means that it was designed to mimic how your hair actually repairs itself, to enter the innermost layer of your hair and reconnect the keratin chains within there. Think of it like Velcro that patches your hair's internal structure, but permanently not temporary. And this is all without coating or build up. This is why I'm saying that this doesn't work on the outside, but I also do think in some way that a lot of these brands don't exactly have the same intention because if you were to repair your hair, that's a good thing. But then I, I guess after a while, you wouldn't need the product because most people rely on the fact that you need these products continuously. If your hair is going to get damaged, your hair needs to be repaired properly or else you're just not going to trust what you're going to use. Let's zoom out for a minute. What is biomimetics and what is biomimicry? Because the real genius here isn't exactly the peptide, it's the biomimetics behind it. And it's the real principle of why this really works. K18 is one of the first brands to bring biomimicry into hair care. Biomimicry means copying what the real keratin does within the hair. Or if you put it another way, it mimics how your body and your skin and your hair naturally behaves. Like copying nature's design, but not reinventing it. Instead of forcing your hair to behave in a certain way, it works with your biology. Think about it. Your body already knows how to heal a cut, rebuild skin or form scar tissue. So why not use that same logic to hair? That's exactly how a lot of other things work. That's what all of us rely on in a certain way. But rather than relying on a nature inspired product, it's relying on everything together to make that work. I hope that makes sense to you guys, because you will see a lot of marketing out there where v this natural ingredient will do all things for you. And while it might be a really powerful ingredient and it's a patented ingredient or whatever, if it's not really working with your body, then what's really the point? More than likely going to find that it's not going to really work. But also, if I can put it another way, and this isn't exactly the same, but I found that this was a perfect way to describe how this works as well, is that when you are trying to build muscle, it's not exactly the protein that's doing that. It's what the protein is made out of because some proteins don't always have a full amino acid profile because What's protein made out of? Amino acids. And those amino acids are really important when it comes to certain proteins, whether that comes from our body, our skin, our hair. It's all about how it gets there and how our body reacts to those things. But it's not exactly the same, but I thought that would be a really good analogy to explain. And that's really what biomimicry is. That's why this ingredient isn't really like other ingredients out there. And it's not really just another bond builder because that's focusing on just one thing. Whereas this focuses on a holistic thing because while this does also repair the disulfate bonds within the hair, it is mainly there to reconnect that keratin chain within the hair. And that keratin chain is one of the hardest places to get to within the hair. In my other first and second attempt from saying this, and I still kind of stand by this in a way, think of the keratin chain as like the hair's soul. I know that sounds completely odd. It's like the most inner part of the hair. It's what keeps it moving and flexible and gives it elasticity. I just thought of it like that and I thought that would probably be the best analogy I could put to the keratin chain. 
really, the hair's dead. It doesn't have a soul, obviously. Ironically, that's the one analogy that I would put to that. I don't know. I hope you guys are following here. But it's different from the rest. And at this point, you might be thinking, what about other repair products? Aren't they also bond builders? And aren't they also repairing the hair? Yes, but also no. It targets the backbone or soul of the hair. And that's what makes up 90% of your hair's strength and elasticity. Most other products, if at most, rebuild the disulfate bonds. That's all well and good. And I actually feel like we wouldn't be here without talking about proper bond builders that were around before K18. I have to give them a lot of credit. I really relied on a lot of products before K18. They have a completely different focus. The truth is, is that it doesn't holistically repair the hair, which is why you may find that these benefits are lacking and fall short and feel temporary at best. Bond builders are like reattaching scaffolding. But why does this matter even if you do or don't use creatine? One day you will come across this within your hair. When your hair is fine, if you have really fragile hair or any of the sorts like that. Knowing this stuff completely changes how you treat your hair because now you understand what actually causes damage, what repair should mean, and what products are and what products are not. Choose treatments that are based on your individual needs and make smarter decisions on your hair type and your hair goals. I feel like knowledge is power and I feel like I wanna be one of those people that give you this information over just what products are because I think it's too easy to talk about what is already on the website. If you are going to talk about these things, you need to really understand why you're using these things, not just because you want them. Because what makes me any different from a car sales rep without really talking about why it works? And in this case, it's power to protect your hair before it ever needs fixing. And before I get into the products, my last thing I wanna talk about, which is a little bit more like a disclaimer, Let's get into that as briefly as I can possibly do it. So whether you are using creatine or not, this doesn't mean that creatine is the answer to all your problems. Most of the time, what is happening to your hair is literally on you. We should be embracing what we look like. Let your curls be. Let your hair be a little bit frizzy. Because if you're going to be straightening the heck out of your hair, doing something that feels like you have to, and I get this all the time, that people feel like that they need to change so many things about themselves. And when it comes to hair, because it's so easy to change your hair, people do it so much and it's okay to go blonde. When you're comparing yourself to other people and changing yourself because of that, that is what I feel like is the problem. Leave a comment below and tell me what do you think we're missing in the hair care industry? What is one thing that you would change about that now? Do you feel included? But now I'll go into the products really briefly, going by routine. And then I'll make a part two about K18 products and telling you what exactly to expect, what to get and what not to get. So let's talk about the K18 lineup. So after the success of the K18 mask, K18 made a full product ecosystem when it came to this ingredient. The K18 mask. Let's skip that one for now. So you have the detox shampoo. This is made to remove all types of buildup, including heavy metals and excess oil. So your hair is clean without feeling stripped. The molecular repair oil. This one adds smoothness and shine powered by the same peptide. The damage shield shampoo and conditioner for daily maintenance, and protection against UV, pollution, and heat. And now with new innovations like Airwash and Astrolift, with the same biotechnology to rethink exactly how we clean and style our hair. Each one of these support how the peptide works, either by prepping the hair, protecting and repairing, or preventing new damage. And the bottom line, should you try it? Should you get it? Is it all that? And what is worth it? Here's what I'll say. Of course, if your hair is damaged, then yes. If you get your hair bleached or colored, then yes. If you heat style your hair, then obviously yes. But I will say this also for those people who don't do these things. If your hair is healthy, this will still absolutely help you. It will still help with strength, elasticity, and of course prevention. Because even when our hair is virgin, 
Because of the things that we do these days to our hair, whether that's just brushing or maneuvering or just manipulating our hair to be something different than what it is, we have an accumulation of damage happening. And then that is leading to way more problems than you think. Because if you think about it, how did all these things happen in the first place? It's because we are doing things to our hair, an accumulation of other problems. Now that could start by just blow drying with a brush, which causes tension and then hair loss. All these things are accumulative in some way. Accumulative, did I say that right? Anyway, but even if you don't use it, now you know what real repair means. And that alone makes you a more informed consumer. Because when you know the difference, you'll never fall for the same surface level problems and marketing again. Hopefully, anyway. But if you've learned something new, or if this in some way helped hair science make sense to you, hit that like button, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know in the comments what you would like me to break down next. Because I promise this is just the beginning of biotech in the hair care industry. I've got a full breakdown of K-Team products coming up next, plus some products I've been meaning to complain about. But what do you think I should do next? Tell me below and I'll see you in the next one.